I've got a bunch of cottonwood bark right here that I've collected and I was going to start this fire today to do some stuff for my new book with just a, a lighter but I think that this cottonwood bark is probably dry enough that I might be able to get it to catch with the ferro rod but you've got to really shred this stuff up and give it a lot of surface area and get a good nest built up of this stuff before you're ever going to get it to catch with the ferro rod. So you want the fibers, the inner bark fibers is what you really want. This stuff that's right inside the bark, that's the stuff that you really want if you're going to try to use a ferro rod to light your fire and forego using something like char cloth or a wet fire cube. So you want a lot of surface area for your sparks to catch. And you just want to build that nest up as best you can with this dry inner bark before you strike your ferro rod to it. Otherwise you'll be here all day doing it. So you want a good nest built up in there first. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab my EDC here. And I've got a ferro rod on there just to regular light my fire. And my Pathfinder knife and we'll see if we can get some of this stuff to catch fire maybe. I want to get as much of these little fibers up in the air as I can to catch these sparks. And then I really got to nurse this thing and I'll use some of this bark to do that. Because this cottonwood bark will catch fire quickly. And I just want to lay stuff loose on top of this thing. I want it to breathe. So I got to be careful not to smother it out. So loose small sticks is what I want to put up on there. And let the air get between them and flow in there. <laughs> 